Imagine a scenario. A potential buyer passes by a luxury villa. They love the architecture, but they have some questions. And unfortunately, the agent isn't there. Now imagine if the agent could leave this at the front door. The buyer can actually scan this and instantly starts chatting with an AI that knows every secret about the house. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this exact end-to-end -end experience, the agent dashboard, this particular printable card, as well as the buyer's persona, entirely using Gemini 3 in AI Studio. All right, I'm going to take you through the buyer's experience first. So I am on my phone and the first thing I'm going to do is take my camera and I'm going to scan this, right? So you see that it is already showing me the link to the page where the house is live. And, you know, it, it has loaded this and this is the same house. So you can see that it has the ability for me to leave a direct message as well as ask some question, right? So I can say that, does it have a heated pool? And then while it is answering, I'm going to drop my email and I'm going to ask, hey, can you call me? Okay. So this message will be sent directly to the agent who is responsible for this particular house. And in the meanwhile, that this particular house responded to it, right? So in the next few minutes, I'm going to take you through this end-to-end -end experience, both from a buyer and an agent persona. And we'll also touch upon how you can build a complete registration and login authentication built on Firebase very easily on Google AI Studio. So with that, let's jump right into it. All right, so this is the beautiful buyer experience. You can see, you know, how beautiful the website looks like. It's hard to believe that an AI actually built something like this. And you have the capability to click on any one of these houses and then start chatting here. So this is powered by Gemini. Um, and then you can leave your email just like we discussed last time. And then this message will be sent to the agent, right? And now here you come back here and you also have this little button, which is like the agent portal. So you see that AI Studio is also able to make like multi-pages website. And then it brings us to this authentication and login website, right? So we have two options here. A, we will apply for access if it is a new agent or if it is an existing agent, then we will just go ahead and type in our details. Right? So I have my agent registered already. So I'm going to log. This is where I see my existing houses that were listed, right? So you remember that this was the live demo that we did when I scanned this. And because this house was for this particular agent, I can see that this house is listed here and I can see the message coming in, right? I was also able to a build where the agent can actually add a completely new house. So I said, use the autofill option here. And then here I can change the price or whatever. For some reason, this is like super high luxury. But anyways, it's for the demo purpose. So I click on this and now you know, it has generated this particular one, which is assigned to this agent. And I also created this option for it to create a QR code and the ability for me to print this out. Right. So it's pretty similar to what you're seeing over here. But in this case, it's a different house and the ability to print as well, right? So all of these functionalities are built in. This is the agent perspective, right? And you can sign out and then it takes you back to the public view. Okay. Now that you have understood this, right? What I want to do now is talk a little bit about how would you set up the authentication and forward password and all of these functionality very easily using Firebase and attach it over here, right? For the next few minutes, let's discuss that. I think a really good way to understand this entire process would be look at developing this in a phase wise, right? So the first phase really would be for you to set up the Firebase configuration, which will really be around the backend side of the house, right? So Firebase will be where you will set up the authorization. Um, then you will also set up the Firebase database to store the data and credentials. And then also, if you want to store some media assets and stuff like that, you can do that. This is very easy. I'm going to get into that pretty quickly, but this is uh, the foundational setup, which you will do outside of AI Studio, right? So you do this first, have everything ready, and then you go to the AI Studio. So that is phase two. And what you would do is you would actually build the agent persona first. And that's where within agent persona, you're going to build the capability to add houses. And then once you add houses, then you will build the capability to add create signage, right? So that is the QR code capability. Again, you just have to ask AI Studio and Gemini 3 and it's going to easily create that for you. So that is your phase two. And then that's where you're able to generate this kind of an asset, which is, which has the QR code, which you have been seeing. And then the last phase of the development would be for you to actually go ahead and create the buyer persona, right? So just add an additional prompt, which we will go through again together that, hey, like I want to have this end persona created. So that will be our flow on how we will build this end to end application. All right. So to build those foundational aspects, you will come into Firebase and you have an option of studio. But in this case, we are going to go into console. 
The reason is because you're only doing the backend side of this here and not using the Firebase Studio, which is also a white coding platform at this moment, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new project. So you're going to click on that and then you can give the name and then continue. And you will enable if you want to have something like this, and then it will go ahead and create the project for you, right? Okay, so it has created the project for us. And once you're in the project, you would see something like this. So on the left hand side, you would see that you have the options at each stage of your project building, right? So you have the option during the build phase where you have something where you can have authentication, you have the Firestore database, which is the default database within Firebase. Then you also have like machine learning and storage capability. And then you have all of these interesting options, which we can spend a lot of time in, in building and talking about this as we go. So let's start with authentication, right? So you will come here and click on authentication, select the type of authentication that you would require. Right? So I'm going to click on get started. And then it immediately tells me or gives me options that, hey, what kind of sign-in methods do you want? So I can say that, okay, I want my email password and you know email link if, if there is if you want to provide like a passwordless sign in so enable that then I can keep adding new options right I can have via phone I can have via anonymous as well and then these are additional out of the box providers which are available right so I can have Google login so just click off a button and then you need to provide certain other details I'll cover this in 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 another video in the future but these are all different options out there right so for the moment we're going to keep it very simple which is we just want to have an email and password and then you also have a lot of these templates the based on the sign-in method that you select right so you can also have email address verification email address change multi-factor enrollments all of this is built out of the box for you right so all you have to do is select all the sign-in methods that you want associated with your project enable them and then go ahead and provide these project details to your AI studio. So for database, you will come here and you can see that here there is an option for Firestore database. So you can click on that and it creates the default database for you. So you can just click on create data store database and then you have the capability to create like a standard edition. You can just give this. This will create like a default and then you can create your own. So I'm going to start in the test mode. I'm going to click on create and now it is going to create a default database which is a firestore database in this particular project which is a live demo right so i now have authentication and firestore database available in my live demo project so i have done all of this before and i already have i already have this particular project set up now once you're satisfied with all of these things the key thing for you to get is you click on this project setting and if you come down this is where you have the config and this is what you will generally need and have this handy. You can copy this and keep it handy and you can provide this when you're actually in the AI studio and starting to provide prompts to it to for you to run. So this is basically all the configuration you need to do in your Firebase application. And then from here, you absolutely, and then from here, you just go to AI studio, keeping this handy okay now we will come in the google ai studio and this is how it looks like you can see it is talking about gemini 3 and nano banana all the way so what we have to do is we have to actually get into the vibe coding side of the house and what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide my prompt here i'm going to start by saying that i want you to build a hyper luxury real estate platform called surya estate and then we're going to provide a little bit of aesthetics and i'm going to incrementally build the prompt itself i'm going to say that okay build this and then the backend connection would be this and this is where I'm providing my Firebase project details and that is very critical. And then I'm going to keep going and then provide some more details around the agent functionality. So this is where I'm going to add more details here. And I'm going to say that, okay, I also need part three would be I need like user accounts. I need a full secure login, allow agents to register. If they forget their password, let them reset it via email. So all of these functionalities is something that I will add. And then once they log in, like we are talking about the agent dashboard, they should have the left hand side should have a message. The right hand side should have a portfolio grid. They should be able to add a, a house and discuss this. There should be like a button which should automatically allow them to fill. And then they should have physical bridge, which is where you are able to create like a print of this. So this is something which I will specify, right? And then last piece of the puzzle would be that after all of this, I want to have the buyer experience which will be over here. The buyer experience will be the public website. And then lastly, the AI personality, which is where you were chatting with the with the house, right? So with this, I'm going to go ahead and build this. A cool thing which I've thought through is it's a good idea to provide a context file to AI so that it knows what you're trying to build end to end. Since you have already provided, in this case, 
the backend information, right? So it, it understands and it is going to use that in order to code and build like a Firebase TS, right? So you will see very shortly that it is going to build a specific file for Firebase. Right now it is working on the on the UI part, but that is how, you know, it, it's going to work. And it's using Gemini because it needs to have that in, in initial conversation. And you can see already it has got the Firebase file here, which is exactly, which, which is the key here. So this is the login and stuff like that, which is required over here. So it's going to take a little bit time to build this. We just thought for 25 seconds and now just working on building this entire thing. And we'll come back to this once, once it has fully built it. All right. So it has taken the first pass at it. It ran for 25 seconds and it was able to build all of this. And you can see that it has done a good job, but I don't see any images over here. We need to correct that. And then when I click on the agent dashboard, it has the optionality here, but it is not just working just here, right? So when I click on request access, it, it brings me back here and then it, it has the it, it has the login capability, but the registration capability is not working. So some of the things that we need to change here. So for the first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to like add uh, initial data. So I'm going to just put, put say that here, add initial data uh, so that the home page looks good. So I'm just going to say that feedback, right? So first feedback agent registration not working second add initial data so, and i'm going to provide some initial data as well so this is how you're going to interact with this and it's going to take that into into consideration and kind of recode and stuff like that right so you will do a little bit of a back and forth with this and it's going to incrementally add the functionality that you need and you will be able to get it right so the thought process is when someone is actually on the home screen, then it should be able to see all some of these houses pre-populated. And if you're able to provide like some images in in, in case you have actual houses, right? So you'll provide some of the images which will be stored in like a Google Cloud storage bucket or somewhere else, right? So you'll provide that public URL and then some description of it and some pricing and then make sure that the agent can actually like register as well, right? So like those are some of the things that you will provide as feedback. So we'll allow it to run for some time and then come back and see how it has made the changes and then we'll see see the results. Okay, so after a few back and forth, I was able to get this right. So I'm just going to full screen it and show you the functionality. So now, you know, I've got some of the default pages which are being shown as the public view and then I've got the agent portal, right? So this is the backend that I want to show you, right? So as you know that we just have one agent that we had used as a login. So we're just going to test the functionality and type in a password. Because it doesn't have this in the system, it's going to say that, okay, this doesn't, it doesn't work. So I'm going to apply for it and I'm going to click on initialize the new account. So it, it says to initialize the account and then it sends a, a quick verification email and then I'm going to click on the email and then it says that, okay, your email has been verified. Then I go to the backend and you can see the user has been added as well, right? So that is a cool piece. And then you should also look at the Firebase database, right? So in this one, you are seeing that all of these are the houses which which over here on the website which are being added and then as soon as you you log in right so now i'm verified and i'm logging in so when i create a new residence here right using this and i save it to the portfolio this saving of the portfolio actually goes here in the properties and this gets saved uh to the agent which is associated with this right so this is where this is very important like not every agent should be able to see and sell every house right so that is what happens so now what we have seen is the authentication functionality and then the database, like the functionality where the, the agent is mapped to the right house. All of this built directly via AI Studio by just providing the backend details of the Firebase project. I really didn't write a single line of code and that is crazy. So once you're satisfied with all of this, what you need to then do is go ahead and deploy this. For example, if I am in the agent, so once I'm here, right, here I have the signage possibility as well, but I'm unable to print it. It will only print once you deploy it. So you click on this, select the right project where you want to deploy it. And since I've already deployed, I can redeploy or I can actually come here to the actual property, do the same thing and then log in. And now when I click on create signage, it allows me to go ahead and print it. So that is the end to end workflow. So what we just saw was the four phases, right? We set up the Firebase project and we provided, we activated whatever functionality we need and then we went phase by phase and created all of these functionalities in AI Studio and then we deployed it to Google Cloud Run. And you can see that over here. So this is the this is a property that, that we deployed. So if I click on this, it takes me back to the same, right? So this is up and running and this is live in Google Cloud as well. 
that was the thought process here. I wanted to show you how you can build an entire end-to-end -end website with complete authentication, with capability to create QR code, with capability to take print, with capability to manage users and assign the right houses to the right agent and stuff like that, all through AI Studio. So this is the power of the Gemini 3 latest pro model and the vibe coding environment of AI Studio. And then of course, the core component is the backend powerhouse, which is Firebase. So that is what I wanted to cover today. I hope this was valuable to you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. If you liked and enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and please do subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.